and new this morning. High Point police are looking for three people connected to a robbery at High Point Hospital. They say these are the suspects in that incident that took place on New Year's Eve. If you do have any information, you're asked to call High Point police. 802, a murder suspect on the run for the last several days is now in custody. Khalil Williamson is held on a $1.2 million bond. Rockingham County deputies say they found Williamson hiding in a creek. They say he jumped out of a car when they tried pulling him over. A man who is charged with sexually abusing a teen with Down syndrome is due in court today. John Caldwell Jr. faces two counts of sexual battery and two counts of crimes against nature. He worked at IFB Solutions in Winston-Salem for 12 years before getting fired in 2017. Police believe that is when the incident happened. Authorities say he and the victim both worked there. A motion filed in court states Caldwell Jr. also performed sexual acts with another employee back in 2008. An Archdale man is facing charges in a deadly crash. Yulseline Alonzo is charged with misdemeanor death by motor vehicle as well as reckless driving. Highway Patrol says a pickup truck went off the road Saturday on Harlow Drive in Guilford County. He overcorrected and crossed the center line, hitting another car. Seven-year-old Juliana Rikekocroft was a passenger in that car. She died on Tuesday. Investigators say Alonzo suffered serious injuries. Well, tonight in Winston-Salem, dozens are expected to come out for a candlelight vigil for peace. It'll be held at St. Anne's Episcopal Church. Rector of the church says with the attack on American troops in Iraq this week, it is the perfect time for the community to come together. She says she hopes the vigil makes a difference, big or small. Come together, be a part of something bigger than ourselves, and offer up prayers to hopefully rain down the peace that passes all understanding here in Winston-Salem and around the world. Well, the vigil will take place tonight at 6 o'clock on the front lawn of the church. For more information, just head over to our website, WXII12.com.